This is why the biceps are sore. Like where the pumps ought to happen, rather than just... There it is. This is freaking very difficult. What's happening YouTube? What's going on? And so, my name is Albert. Yo, what are post reps, bro? Post reps, man, you never heard of them. Why? Because I came up with that term due to me coming across this very way to cook the biceps cook the deltoids and i'm gonna start right now right you do one arm at a time very important because this is gonna be my helping my freaking helping hand bro and so basically pulse post reps is that you're gonna do a rep right but you're gonna post your way up into one rep see like this and so i already see that i have to go so light because right here i'm starting to also see where the demand kicks in and so i'm going all the way up and I'm gonna pulse it, 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 pulse it. Now I'm warming up into it. And now I'm gonna, oh my God, I really feel it. And so, oh yeah. And so pulse over here, pulse, 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 pulse. Cooking the deltoid. I'm gonna do the same with the bicep. It's gonna be bicep and deltoid. And so I'm just cooking it, man. Cooking it, cooking it. I also feel engagement right here. So it's really, really cool. So I'm gonna give it another rep pulse style. <laughs> and so right there, I can feel it. it's a really great exercise to see like what, what goes on within a rep. Like right here is where the freaking, the, the, the pudding. <laughs> the pudding of the exercise happens here. I'm also getting a severe, tension on my traps as I get higher and higher and higher and so right here I can already feel that wow the neck muscles are involved too so here I am I'm pulsing 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 I'm also twisting my wrists so I can feel to see if I could get all heads of the deltoid and so wow man I'm already feeling like ooh. and so now wow this feels great yo man I'm onto something this is freaking thanks to me freaking playing around with so many different exercises that I end up coming up with my own ways of freaking training, man. This is freaking really cool. And so, this is thanks to Nick Akato Avocados exercise that I did, which I strapped on a 5kg vest and I'm hopping around and I'm doing the exercise similar to him. And then the next day, my biceps were sore and I was like, wait a minute. This is why, this is why the biceps are sore. And so this arm is free for a reason. Oh my God, but the reason happens later on. <laughs> so I'm gonna post it right here for a minute. Yo. Okay, now the next step so that I can cook it out is now I'm gonna grab heavy weights and I'm gonna freaking pose here, watch. This is, I don't know, 50 pounds. So, right here. <laughs> oh my God. This is it, bro. Yep, come crashing down. Oh my God, we're in trouble because I got a freaking exercise. Oh my God, I'm gonna freaking hold this some more. Oh. Give it another freaking cook. <laughs> Yo, 
See, so right here, I can already see that it's not really deltoid engagement yet. I'm feeling it here. And then as I move upward, the deltoid kicking happens right here. And it happens in a way where the traps get involved. And so this is all important for me to point out because I'm on to finding effective ways to work out from the eight years of training that's leading me to this. I didn't, I never expected to do this. Right there, see? You've never seen anyone do this, bro. But I'm feeling the freaking deltoid up here is freaking, oh my God. So here it is now. This is where the, the arm comes in. This is my helping hand. When I can't lift anymore. Oh shit. This freaking burns. Holy moly. Holy moly 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 moly. So. So this is very important to know that heavy weights here, yes, but light weights, the kicker is right there, right freaking there, bro. So for fair measure, man, because when I try to get into the science of this workout, I didn't feel deltoid activation would lead me here. I was doing it a different way, but I was getting closer to this very exercise that if tomorrow my deltoids are puffy, it's very difficult to beat up the, the, the deltoids. But if I feel it, oh, I'm gonna feel the traps. So, okay, so now here's the helping hand. Uh, this is like having a spotter. Very different. Oh, <laughs> so, man, this is what I call post reps, and the deltoids are already screaming. And so, what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna move into the same thing, but biceps. And so, I'm gonna just do the same thing and post my way up and see if I can give it some assistance so it could crash down. And so, I can already see that I need heavier weights for this. So I'll do that for the next one. Ta type, type of workout that, cooking the bicep is the best way to explain this. Because what I'm doing is I'm freaking roasting in the bicep and I still feel the deltoid right now. I still, I feel the deltoid is heated up. And so, right there. It's a great way to learn the body and learn the muscles. So, oh yeah. Okay, so the indication I got here that these weights are too light to accomplish what I'm trying to do. And so what I'm gonna do is just for fair measure, do this side and then turn to heavier weights and continue. Yeah, I can already feel it that I'm not. So, one way around that, I already have an idea around that. Okay, so. For that, for the biceps, that is too light for the deltoids, it's perfect. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do to cook up, to cook up the biceps is do, I think this is 50 pounds, 45, 50 pounds, is that now I'm gonna just cook up the biceps by, I just going heavy here 
then I'll go ahead and I'll do the post reps once again. And so, most important thing for me to share right now is that I'm doing all of this by feel. I'm not counting because I want the muscles to tell me what to do. And so when the muscles give up and they start to burn, then it's time for me to take the next mode of action and not fall prey to counting to a certain number. That is, for me, is all mental satisfactions, those numbers. Okay, so I'm beat up there. And so now, I'm gonna grab heavier dumbbells. Yes, this is it. I'm gonna grab there. This is, what, well, five kg? So this is perfect. This is a perfect, 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 like, uh, what do you accompanied for the deltoids? Cause they, I feel the deltoids involved still. So here it is, perfect. Oh yeah. So for anybody who's always talking about, you know, you want to reach the peak here, do the peak here and the that, and when that, 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 that here it is. Here's the exercise to, to move your bicep and do pulses like this from bottom to top so that you can feel where it is that you get the most engagement. And so it's not somebody else telling me like, oh, do this, do that. It's me feeling it. Yeah. So now this arm, so, turn it this way, yeah, this looks cool so I can talk. So, my objective is to feel bicep soreness and at best deltoid soreness and then I will hurrah. Then I can say that I came across an exercise that's not long, I'm looking at the time. I'm gauging it really good because granted, if I find out that this freaking cooks up my bicep in a way where it's like, wow, then I would just dedicate a workout with just biceps and then one just with deltoid and cook it up. But here, as a way to experiment, as a way to experiment, I'm doing both because the last time I was left in limbo when I did the workout and I didn't feel my, del my deltoids, I was like, oh, so what does that mean? And what does that mean? So now I'm away from that type of, of a guess. So man, if you're new to this channel and you're checking out what I'm doing and you're interested, I'm 60 years old and m m I've been working out for eight years. And so I, for the last two years, I've been recording my workouts so that I can monitor the progress of this guy who is 60 years old, going on 61. And while I monitor my progress, I'm a guy who is not selling anything or anything. So I just wanna take a look to see my fitness progress as I age, as natural, without taking anything whatsoever. I'm transparent, I show everything. I have nothing to hide because I don't have anything to gain. Like I'm not trying to find someone to sell anything to. So this channel is 100% authentic. When you watch this channel and you see me doing these things, and if you take a look at the top of the month photos and you see, wow, this guy's been working out and he has like, muscles and you may go wow that's pretty good for a 60 year old or you may want to take a look at my uh, performance ability and my performance uh, uh capabilities to jump and run and then see because a lot of people my age can't <laughs> they can't and i couldn't at 52 i couldn't so i'm one of the guys here that in a sense is just trying to get people who's 40. There was a guy who commented, he's 43. He's like, I want to be like that. When I'm 60, I want to still have that fire. And I keep that fire by just experimenting, looking around for different ways to work out, making my exercises fun, recording them here on YouTube. So I'm, I don't know what I've done, but I've done two those post reps. And so I'm going to get back into them. So, because I like this a lot, 
I'm gonna go ahead and just freaking hold them out right here and just bounce. This is the Nikocado idea because, you know, I'm doing this fun exercise with him just to change things up. I found what he did kind of interesting. Well, I copied it, man. It's like, it wasn't that freaking easy to do in the sense that I freaking put on a 5kg vest. I put on two pound ankle weights. I freaking geared up and copied him. And then to my surprise, I didn't feel like it was a cardio workout. I felt like it was a freaking bicep workout. <laughs> That's why I'm here doing this because of that. This is what I'm saying that I come across these exercises. Some of these exercises by the looks of it, I'm thinking, okay, it's chest exercise. And then I figure out that it's a freaking amazing something else exercise. Same thing, legs. Legs is a perfect example because a slight tweak of the leg position could turn it from a thigh exercise to a glute exercise to where I'm, I'm, my inner thighs are hurting and I'm trying to figure out why. Wow, that, I didn't expect that from this exercise. And because of the way I'm following them, I'm doing it differently. So when I follow others, I make myself do the exercise differently because now I'm not really going by my my orchestration of how I think it ought to go. So, see, so here, so my homework tomorrow is to look at this because like I may say things like, dude, hold your arms straight out so that you get more like now. See what I'm doing? This is like I catch myself because I, I got a habit of doing this. Even though I still feel it, there's more of the gravity that freaking pries down upon me if my arm is straighter out. So, oh my God. Oh. So, yo, there is a difference between doing two arms at a time and one arm at a time, I have to say. A lot of these trainers say do both so you kill time. Why kill time? This is my time. My time to exercise. I'm not gonna freaking like try to make the workout faster by doing it both with both arms so that instead of it being 10 minutes, it'll be five minutes. I'm not gonna jerk myself like that. You know, this is one of my messages here too that when someone exercises, get down, goddammit, it's your time. It's not no time to hurry up and rush. Like even no matter what you're doing, your exercise input ought to be so dedicated because this translates to everything else that I do in life, man. The way I play with kids, the way I move around, my sleep, my eating habits. This contributes to every single thing that I do. And so how am I gonna wanna cut this off short at a, at a convenience, oh my God, is jerking myself in the process and I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna jerk myself, man. So I'm seeing that there's 18 minutes on the clock that's very important because I'm gonna go 30 minutes. Uh, so, experimentation mode here off the chain fitness, we experiment. And I'm allowing the feeling of the muscle to dictate where I ought to be. Not form and follow this form and do it that form. And do, do, oh, you should just do 12 of those and do it calibrated because I'm not a calibrated person. I'm not a calculated being. I am a human being functional in real time with a life that's moving forward. It's not a calculation. Very important. So, I'm gonna fry out. You know what I mean? This is not a, cal I'm not calculated. How can I calculate this? I cannot calculate this because today I may be weaker than yesterday. So I can't go ahead and try to do yesterday's exercise today when today is different. 
And so I don't calculate anything at all. And I think people are doing themselves such an injustice by calculating, calculating, do 12, find your 12 rep max. And that, to me, that's a bunch of garbage because the 12 rep max is impossible because every day you're either stronger or weaker, it all depends. And so, you, you know, even I catch people, all these, all these bodybuilders, they're working out and they're saying, oh man, I feel like a weak bitch today. And they're doing this because they're, that particular day is just not like the other day where they did so much more. And so your body knows when to back off and when to like rest and when to like not give you the full output, which is pretty much trying to tell you that today is not the day. <laughs> Today is not the freaking day. Just how, like sometimes we may feel smarter one day than another. We go like, why am I stumbling over my words? Why can't I make sense out of things and stuff like that? It's just because your mind is freaking not on it. Doesn't mean that yesterday's intelligence or my way of speaking or communicating ought to be like yesterday because yesterday was on fire and so today I try to do it. So this is just understanding the variable, the variables of our human tendencies, all of us. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a kettlebell. Yes, I'm gonna grab a kettlebell because this gives me an opportunity to open my hand. <laughs> so here I am, man. So right here is the peak for me, see? This is what I mean. Somebody else, it may be different. Somebody may feel that the uh, crux of their bicep where they feel it the most is somewhere entirely different than mine. <sighs> oh shit, okay. Ah. <laughs> Yo, this feels really good, man. I don't really come across many people who freaking love the feeling. I love the freaking feeling. <sighs> so, this is the post rep, bro. So basically a pulse rep is me doing an entire rep, but pulsing upward and pulsing downward. Right here I'm pulsing upward. And so I'm, it makes so much sense. Like why didn't I think of this before? And this is freaking very difficult. Ah. So man, let's do this. Now it's right here. See, it was different the last time. So as my bicep gets cooked, <laughs> it starts to work itself into a different motor dynamics. Like right here is where I'm feeling it now, as opposed to I think before I said it was here. So there's a stronger part of the bicep that starts to... Oh my God. Oh, so what was I saying? <laughs> While I'm freaking exercise, I'm getting these freaking YouTube notifications and I'm like trying to check them out here and it gets in the way. So I, I lose my train of thought. So, so let's see. While I'm here, now, 
Should I try? Now it may be a good time to do these. Yes, it's a good time. Now. There it is. Yeah. My spotter. Yo, baby, let's see the time. Okay, it's 26 minutes, so I'm gonna roll it, roll it with something else. Okay, what should I do, what should I do, okay. So, right now what I could report is that I got amazing activation. I even feel it in the chest area. <laughs> and so the deltoids are feeling really nice and maxed out. Um, I don't know how much though. And so I'm digging to see what I should do. So maybe now, maybe now I'll go ahead and fry them out like this, turn them inwards and do pulses like this. Oh, so, oh, and then you could just turn them inwards. This is really cool. So, it's like to, I'm searching and finding where the bicep ought to happen like where the pumps ought to happen rather than just you know and it's like right here now right there you see right there i felt it and so it's not me my mind dictating anything whatsoever my mind is just talking to the camera reporting things and just like speaking my mind but what i'm doing with the muscle is that the muscle is directing me and so uh, so okay at exactly 30 minutes i'm gonna stop only because that's gonna be my gauge remember these in school you ever went to gym the educational class in school we did circles oh my god so how we doing almost there I may go just one minute past 30 minutes for the times that I spoke. And so at least I could gauge myself on a 30 minute basis. Oh yeah. So, okay. 
that's it, bro. I, I'm, I'm not gonna continue. I can already feel it that I'm starting to crack up. It's okay, man. Here is the, this is my, uh, this is a real big step for me towards incorporating this in different ways along with my 12 minute workout max where I destroy the entire body and with this in motion I can implement these things in between everything else that I'm doing so when I approach these workouts because imagine this pulsing with legs instead of squatting up and down straight up straight down you're squatting down like this man. you're going all the way down and then you're freaking prying yourself up like somewhere along the line there's going to be a collapse mode where i'm going to have to have like maybe a stick to help me get my way up when that time comes because there's a certain area where the muscles they don't freaking they can't muster they can't get myself up in a certain way in it through a certain position and so doing this with squats and doing these pulses with so many different imagine pulses like this and you're freaking pulsing and then you're feeling the muscle and, and allowing the muscle to say stop right there because I feel it drop the weight grab a heavier weight you can actually allow the muscle to tell you what to do rather than you Tell the muscle, 10 set, uh, 10 reps, uh, da, 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 12 reps, da, 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 save some for the tank and all that freaking nonsense spiel. So anyway, man, this freaking concludes, man. Yo, bro, I freaking ran here to do this special workout. I'm going to report in my home, for my homework tomorrow. I'm going to report, granted, sometimes in the morning there's no, there's no activation of soreness yet, but I'm going to say... I'm gonna report by taking a look to see because I get I gather more ideas this way. And then if the soreness kicks in for the biceps or the deltoids, then I'm gonna report so that I could go ahead and freaking crash upon this post post type workout, which is incredible. So anyway, man, this covers this type of workout for today, man. I'm sweating, man. My freaking deltoids feel great. My biceps feel great. And until the next one, I am done.